Right, so despite the strong force holding nu the nucleus together, not all nuclei are stable. And there are a couple of ways, a few ways in which a nucleus can decay and uh, attain a, a more stable energy uh, configuration, if you like. Uh, we're going to take a look at two of them now. And the first way, first one we're going to take a look at is uh, alpha decay. Alpha decay. Right. An alpha particle is, as you, we've taken a look at uh, briefly before, is uh, two neutrons and two protons. The protons have a plus charge each, one plus each, and the neutrons are neutral. And an alpha particle is ejected from uh, the nucleus of usually quite large and unstable nuclei. So I'm not going to spend ages doing a, a nucleus here, but uh, hopefully you'll get the idea. So we've got uh, a rather large nucleus here. The larger it is, the more quite likely it is to decay. Um, and we've got some neutrons in there, of course, as well. And the alpha particle is ejected at high speed from the nucleus. This is the, the parent. And because we've lost two protons, the actual nature of this nucleus and, and the atom itself changes. Because the nucleus has lost two protons, it's going to become a different element. And so we're going to get a, a daughter nucleus. Oops, let's get the right uh, kind of thing going on here. So we're going to get a daughter nucleus here, which is going to have a mass number which is four less than the, the parent. So here's the daughter. Nucleus. Uh, can you just about read that? Yeah, daughter nucleus. Okay, so that's a new element. The nucleon number has decreased by four. Nucleon number is minus four, and the the atomic number. The atomic number is minus two because we've lost two protons. Okay, now when uh, when uh, ex scientists were taking a look at this decay and they were looking at the energies of the alpha particles that were uh, ejected from an unstable nucleus, um, they saw an energy profile or an energy spectrum looking something like this. So if we plot the number of, of uh, alpha particles or the frequency on the on the y-axis here, so the number of, of alpha particles there. And if we plot energy here, then for a certain, uh, for a certain nucleus, unstable nucleus, we will see predominantly one, one spike, that should be a straight line, one spike of most of the alpha particles have this energy when they're ejected. And some nuclei actually have another spike, or maybe one or two or three even spikes. It shouldn't be like quite like that. Let's get it uh, there we are, like that. Now you're probably asking, well, hang on, why have we got two different energies here? Surely it's one nuclear decay, one process should give a certain set amount of energy. Well, the fact that you can have perhaps one or two or three, uh, two or three different energy, uh, discrete energy levels, means that means that uh, nuclei or this nucleus itself. The nucleus uh, can be in two or more discrete energy levels itself, sort of like an atom can be in, in two or more discrete energy levels. Uh, and so that applies to the nucleus as well. Can be in greater than one discrete energy level. Okay. So that's alpha emission. So let's take a look at an actual uh, equation of alpha particles uh, being emitted from a, a nucleus, an isotope of uranium. So we're going to have a look at uranium. So let's take 238. So that's the, the nucleon number. 
and we've got the atomic number 92 that's specific to uh, to uranium and yet that will decay it's a random process so there's only a probability of a nucleus decaying um, but over a set time and with a large number of particles large number of nuclei we can give a, a, an average estimate based on that probability we'll come do more of that later but that will decay into a new element called thorium 234 with an atomic number of 90 and notice how we have lost 4 from the nucleon number the mass number and we've lost 2 from the atomic number or the proton number now along with this comes the alpha particle so plus now sometimes the alpha particle is denoted as a helium nucleus because that's what it actually is a helium nucleus is two protons and two neutrons so a helium four and two it's the mass number that's the atomic number technically it would be two plus because uh, there's no there are no electrons uh, orbiting around this uh, alpha particle as yet until it combines with an electron in its journey outside the nucleus uh, you can also write it as as alpha uh, 